Today we're going to configure a top end gaming PC and cost it for November 2019 based on the Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. You can see how much it costs and uh, what component to optimize performance so it lasts a good four or five years before you need to upgrade. Now I'll be using an online configurator due to ease of showing you the various components. So let's get started. The base system that I've selected is the 3SX base on the Corsa Hydro X uh, case and it, which it should support the Ryzen 900. So the base cost is 2800. Remember it's got a 15% markup approximately so actual costing of the starting components is about £2,400. So let's go through the specs. That's the case. The Corsair Crystal 680X it includes three fans. We're going to need more than that. Uh, £438. That's quite a lot. Yeah, the cheaper options. So it is a, but it is a top end case. We've got with water cooling. We definitely need water cooling. So we'll keep that water cooling. For the Ryzen 9, you need to be water cool, especially if you're going to overclock it. Two additional fans, yep, we're going to need more fans, the better. That'll be five in total, which will be enough. Motherboard, that seems to be a bit of a cheap, cheaper motherboard. Not going to have many expandable ports on it, SATA ports, and so you can plug in more drives later on. So let's go with the Asus Tough X570 Plus Gaming for just £80 more. So we'll select that. That bumps up the price a little. It's uh, probably now around £24.50 if you're self built. Now we come to the processor. That's not going to do. Ryzen 5, 6 core. No, we want the top end that's available at a decent price, which is the Ryzen 9 3900X. Remember, 530 is the market price. Actually, it's about 480, 470. So we'll add that, and the price jumps. So now, self build would be around 2737. Let's so come to the memory. 16 gig is what I would consider minimum. So we can up the memory to double selected we'll go 3600 megahertz so you can overclock the memory as well that's what it's selected so we go for it's quite a big quite a big jump 3600 why is it jump oh 64 gig so the memory we got a slight issue here. we're gonna have to clock it down to 3200 they don't have an option for no I can't see dominate a memory what uh, no 3200 3200 so we're going to have to go with the slower memory otherwise the price jumps too much you know we don't want 64 gig we want 32 gig so we're gonna go with that now price jumps a little bit more graphics card now we come to the graphics card which one well they've set it to the RTX 270 Super which is a good card uh, but the RTX 280 Super is about 15% faster for a £190 dump for a 30% jump 20 Whilst the 11 gigabyte RTX 280 Ti, the top end card, it's an extra 500 pounds, for which you get a 40% boost in performance. So the 280 Super is 15% faster than the 270 Super, whilst the RTX 280 Ti is 40%. So if you want to future proof it, we're going to have to go with the RTX 280 Ti 4,352 CUDA cores against 
2560 so we'll go with that single card we can always add a second card later on that's why you need to go with the top card now you can always SLI a single card down the road to boost your processing power maybe by it depends on the game between 30 and 60 percent we don't want to buy a single card today because it'll be a lot cheaper in the future say a couple of years down the road whereas if you get a cheap card you know you're limited to getting a 270 super which won't be as much of a boost as a obviously so you delay upgrading plus when you do upgrade the card will be a lot cheaper so you get a good boost by SLAing a second card so we'll get a single card now so, but it'll be future proof overclocking we can overclock it ourselves we don't need to pay someone and plus we're going to do it out of a self build anyway anyway the current price is now £3,200 for a self build power supply since we're going to future proof it we're gonna need a lot bigger power supply than 650x. Um, 850. Let's go with the thousand. Yeah, I wanna make thousand. What? Just a little bit more. 70 pounds more, and it's future proof. Saves you having to buy a new power supply when you get your second card. Uh, storage drive for the operating system. It's a, that's a decent decent read write but we want more capacity we'll go with the this one looks all right 960 gigabyte let's see what other options we got uh, I prefer the Samsung that is a 500 now it's a faster drive and it tends to perform better in real world conditions We'll go with the one terabyte Samsung 970 plus 3500. These, don't, these figures don't really mean anything. It's real world performance that matters, and the Samsung tend to perform well. One terabyte should be enough for uh, so, uh, operating system and programs file. Then it comes to the storage drive, which doesn't have to be fast. Yeah, 7200, that's fine. Let's see what other options they got. I don't really like Seagate. They got Western Digital. You want to go with the Western Digital, which they haven't got here. I would go with the 4 terabyte Western Digital Black Drive. That will last you well well beyond five years. So I'll just go with the 4 terabyte Seagate here, which they don't have on 7200. So I'm just I'll configure it with a two terabyte seventy two thousand RPM. So they don't have a Western Digital available, so I'll go with that here. But if you're, if I was self building, I put in a four terabyte Western Digital Black, which will probably cost about two hundred pounds. Round that mark, one hundred and eighty. So that's the only thing lacking so far in this configurator. The hard drives. So now we come to about thirty-five hundred for a self-build. Don't need optical sound card network. No operating system Windows Home. Well, I'll go for Pro. Yeah, why did it jump there? Pro. We'll go for Pro to future proof. So we can, if they have a Windows 11, 12, they should allow upgrading automatically to that. Do I need any mouse keyboards? No, no extra hardware. No headset, VR headset. Comes with well, that's what you pay for the extra fifteen percent. <clears throat> Three years warranty, one year on site. But you're gonna build it yourself. But that's what you're paying for extra for. It's built into the price. Okay, that's it. So it's. 4164 if you go with someone like scan but if you self build the same pc would cost around 3500 so that's a top end gaming pc configured for november 2019 
based on the 3900X Ryzen 9. It's got water cooling, it's got a great case, you know, all the bells and whistles, five fans, um, game, a good uh, motherboard, Asus motherboard, gaming motherboard. Can I have a closer look at that? It should be sufficient. Come on then. Here we go. So what do we get? Yeah, six layer. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. It's got, got two M two slots. Three PCIe four sixteen one sixteen one sixteen times four bandwidth. Uh, SATA 2M2 oh, jumped up see how many SATA ports it's got 8 6 gig SATA ports I don't know if they're shared with the M2 slots probably are Six, 8 that's what you can plug in 8 hard drives if you wanted to but you got a NVMe boot drive that's good you got in you got two in fact one shared via the one PCI slot so yeah, this is definitely the board that you want. Yeah, it can support DDR up to 4400 4, overclocked. You can overclock your memory if you want to go down that road. I wouldn't though, for stability. I wouldn't overclock the base clock or the memory stability, just the processor. That's why we do it because you want it to last five years, four or five years, you know, without getting the blue screen of death. You don't want to mess around with base clock because it depends on, even though the other components are good, it's just creating instability from what two percent jump, not gonna be much of a jump, you get a far greater jump with a multiplier. So that's the motherboard's fine. So that's a gaming PC for 2019, November 2019. That's what you would look to get. The only difference on this configuration, I would get a Western Digital Black, you know, because it's built for heavy duty use. It's got a five year warranty. And the Samsung's also got a five year warranty. So both drives are good to go. And you can pay about thirty-five hundred pounds for a self-build, <clears throat> and around forty-one sixty for a if you get someone to build it. We obviously are paying for their labour, expertise, and warranty, overall system warranty. Which if you build it yourself, there's a chance you're gonna mess something up, especially on the water cooler. What if you spill water everywhere? It leaks. Yeah, and uh, don't. So there's the cooler, the hydro water cooling system for the CPU. That's sufficient. Yeah, look, it will look good with all the different lights. So you definitely want to be able to see it through. Yeah, it's bought the flagship 280 Ti. So again, your future proofing is expensive but that's what you need for a Ryzen 3 900X processor if you're going to overclock it and to cool the rest of your system down but mean obviously it's for cooling the processor mainly single GPU let's see if it lists the 3 900X AMD sockets 4800 rpm that's fast 4000 the fans don't spin that fast pumping at 4800 rpm that's for cooling the graphics card down as well so it cools the cpu and the graphics card so that's the cooler Season seventy pounds for a cooler. 
Wow. <laughs> that is expensive. <laughs> so that's the system for a, a top end gaming PC 300 900X. Uh, I think I selected the RTX 280 Ti, top of the range NVIDIA card. So it will easily last three years before you need to upgrade when your SLI the the second RTX 280 Ti to it to give you a performance boost of between 30 and 60 percent in games so it's future proof for five years this gaming PC configuration will last you five years do subscribe for more videos on PC components and builds.